99204 Ford Mustang. How do you test the ignition switch? We'll use this diagram as a reference. You have to test the continuity of certain pins in four different switch positions. When you remove the ignition switch from the vehicle, it will be in the lock position. Moving it down, puts it in the accessory position. This is known as the off position. And this is run. If you move it all the way to the stop, that'll be known as start position and that one's spring loaded. So it has a lot of resistance. To test your ignition switch, you're gonna to wanna to use your digital multimeter, set it to ohms. And we're gonna use this diagram here and begin with B2 and A2. So we're gonna hook up to pin B2 and pin A2 and test for continuity in four different switch positions. So this was run. And as you can see, we have continuity in run. And that's the only position we're supposed to have continuity in. If you go to start, open circuit. If we go down to off, open circuit, lock, open circuit, accessory, open circuit. So those pins are working perfectly. There's no issue between those two pins. That's basically it. Just select a pair of pins in the diagram and test. If your ignition switch is defective, most likely you'll get a B-type trouble code and the troubleshooting process will have you test specific pairs of pins. So you won't have to test all them pins right there. I did find a mistake on Ford's official diagnostic diagram. Take a look at B1 and A1. It shows the run and accessory positions should have continuity. But the wiring diagram shows different. Here's B1 and A1. Only pin 2 there, which is run, can achieve continuity. Pin 1, accessory position, is an open circuit. Even testing the switch shows there's no continuity in the accessory position. So you see, Ford made a mistake and I got a kick out of finding that error. So be wary of that. If you need to replace the ignition switch, the channel Torque has a fantastic video on that. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.